Hold on to your hats, cause we're talking about beavers. Hundreds of them. You cheeky little blighter. Now I found myself at a film fest showing a movie called Hundreds of Beavers, and I have to talk about it. <laughs> now up front, I don't have a lot of footage to show because it's on the festival circuit and hasn't been sent to streaming yet. But if it comes near you or you see it on streaming at some point, do not sleep on this. It's fantastically funny and something very unique. In the meantime, I'm going to be showing random beaver footage interspersed with a movie trailer and production stills. The story follows Jean Kayak, booze enthusiast, and Applejack salesman. No, not someone that sells toys of that specific My Little Pony character, but a purveyor of an alcoholic beverage traditionally made by freezing hard cider and siphoning off the concentrated liquor. Anyway, he finds himself at rock bottom, freezing his ass off after his orchards are destroyed. He goes on a Lord of the Rings level journey that takes him from boozed out, patched long john wearing nobody, to North America's greatest fur trapper. His path is full of over the top successes and failures caused largely by hundreds of beavers. Now, I don't want to give away too much, but I will tell you I was laughing my ass off the whole time. It describes itself as a crossroads of Looney Tunes, Benny Hill, Cannibal the Musical, Blazing Saddles, and Adult Swim. And I would agree that it encompasses good traits from all of those properties. Say, it works well! Visually, it lives in a live-action Looney Tunes plane. Stuff happens at a chaotically funny pace, visual gags are established, and then used effectively in both foreground and in the background. All of the mammals that you see are animal costumes. Think the University of Wisconsin's Bucky Badger without his shirt. On top of that, this is a variation on a silent movie. People do make noise, there are sound effects and music, but no one speaks. And it's proper old school black and white that has enough dust and scratches to have it fit right in with a 1910 silent movie. But please don't let that dissuade you. There is an incredible level of visual storytelling on display, and it's fan-fucking-tastic. This was shot in 12 weeks over the course of two winters in and around Milwaukee, Wisconsin. There was a lot of green screen used, but even then it was done against a green tarp outside to save money, and actor Ryland Hughes spent a lot of time in the snow. So much in fact he ended up with frostbite at one point. That was nuts! They only had six beaver costumes, but like damn miracle workers, made it add up to the hundreds advertised by the movie's title. You can learn a ton more about the movie by reading it in the Milwaukee Record article linked in the description below. We're looking for beavers. Well, hell, ain't we all? Director Mike Cheslick, the cast and crew created something chaotic and completely magical. I can't explain enough how creative this little movie is. The budget was small, but what they did blows my damn mind. Keep an eye out and catch it if you do see it. You can also check out 2018's Lake Michigan Monster, which was written by Cheslick and Tews. The visual style is quite similar, and you can see the seeds of what was to come in this movie. It's available on a variety of streaming platforms. Fresh, clean, and minty, you'll like it! Thanks a lot! <laughs> Thanks ever so